Hello everyone, this is Amber with Staying Crafty. Today we're going to be making a Cricut card project using the Preserves cartridge. I created a shaped card using my Gypsy. I used the base image uh, that I of the strawberry twice. Um, the second one I flipped it in the opposite direction. I welded the two together and I used the hide contour feature to get rid of the lines that show me where the leaves and everything line up. So now I'm going to create some glitter paper basically for this piece here because I didn't have any green glitter paper. So I'm just using terrifically tacky tape, which is very, very sticky and it's double sided. So it'll stick to my leaves and then the other side of the adhesive will hold the glitter. So I'm just finishing cutting off the last little bit there. Kind of a tedious process. Get your scissors sticky several times. I'm just using a brayer um, to rub that on there, but you can just use your fingers. And then you go ahead and peel off this other side of the tape. Try not to touch it. You don't want to get oils from your fingers all over the adhesive and affect the way that your glitter sticks. So now I'm just dumping my glitter on here pretty easy to do. Um, I could have even dumped less and smoothed it around sooner, but um, the vast majority of it ends up back inside the bottle, so I really didn't care. So then I just go around and kind of rub it on, tap it on, um, whatever, just to make sure that the glitter is securely adhered. I did use my fingers for this. A uh, brayer would have probably gotten glitter everywhere and then it would have been on my brayer for a long time. So just use my fingers for that. Then you can give it a shake. You can turn it over um, and give it a few taps from the back, that type of thing. This is a very small vial of glitter and this set actually came with a funnel. Um, with larger glitter, you don't have to use the funnel. You just bend your paper and tip it over. Zip Dry Adhesive is one of my absolute favorites and it works great with glitter paper. Um, this die cuts with a view glitter paper I used for the base of the card is my favorite. It cuts great in the Cricut and it's just a really good quality glitter paper. Uh, it still folds nicely. I didn't have any trouble folding the card in half. So it's great to have an adhesive that works so well with it. And for me, that's zip dry. So I'm going to be adding this flower. Uh, now I'd like to note here, this flower is actually designed to go at the top of the strawberry, but I decided to use it in the center and I'm gonna do something a little bit different with the top. So just kind of taking the image and making it my own. Um, here's a little button. This is also very glittery. Uh, for some reason, I just wanted everything on this card to just be out of this world blingy and glittery. I was just in that kind of a mood, I guess. Uh, the zip dry also works really well for buttons. I use it for that all the time. Um, glue dots are nice too, but adhering to glitter paper and being on the front of a card like this, I'm not sure I would trust them. So just getting that centered. I have this little embellishment here. Um, it came with a scrapbooking kit I've had for a while, but, you know, just trying to use up some things in my stash. I've got a stamp here from my pink stamper that says, My Sweet One, and I'm just stamping it right in the center of that flower there. You can see how the stamp went just inside the flower portion. So I'm going to go ahead and trim just the flower out. I'm not going to leave that big scallop. The big scallop was cute, but it kind of didn't fit very well on my strawberry where I wanted to go, so I went ahead and cut it. And I'm just using the zip dry again. That's how I'm going to attach this little embellishment. So I'm just going to kind of stick it there and see it fits really well when I cut out the flower, but the scallop was just too big. And I'm just going to use some stickles and go around the edge of the flower just to make it match and be sparkly and blingy also. So yeah, once again, this is taking the place of where the white flower is supposed to go. So here is the finished card in all its glittery, blingy glory. So thank you so much for watching. I hope maybe you learned something new. Uh, maybe you'll try making your own glittered paper to match a project sometime. Have a wonderful and very crafty day and be sure and visit my blog.